Jackie. Come here, Jackie. Okay. Come on, Maya. Maya, come on. Oh, Jackie just wants to play. Looky here, looky here. Hey, Jackie. Hey, girl. There's Joe Charlie. Hey, Charlie. Oh, Charlie. Looky here is our princess. Hey, girl. Come on, let's go feed the chickens. Calves are bundled up in the hay. Hey, Charlie. Can't get you up there. Calves are chilling. Okay. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to Cross Timbers Bison. Just pulled up to the uh, barn and it started sleeting and uh, our little girl here, but it doesn't have a name yet. Still working on it. Um, got a little excited, so but she's happy to see me. And then, of course, Charlie wants to be fed. Well, uh, it is frozen. Everything's frozen this morning, so it's time to bust some ice for all the critters. Jackie, Charlie, Horsey, chickens, and uh, go check the ponds for the bison. Come on, chickens. Here, chick, 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 chicks. Got a hen. Got him some scraps. The rest gave him. girl oh Charlie I'll feed you it's okay Charlie I'll get you taken care of Charlie let's bust some ice look at that dude Try this on your feed. Good girl. Good girl. That's some pretty hair. Some buttermilk in her. Good.
Well, we are uh, getting it going here at the Ponderosa, breaking some ice. Uh, <laughs> we, uh, I can't remember um, having to bust ice this many days in a row. Uh, I think we're on day three of busting ice and um, it's fine, it's not too bad. It's uh, just stayed in the 20s. I know some of you up north deal with a lot worse conditions than we uh, than we do, but uh, this is not something that we're, uh, is the normal in Oklahoma. It does get cold in Oklahoma, but uh, as far as, as far as continuous days of freezing, that's uh, something kind of new. So uh, not typically used to that, but got a, uh, got some cubes here with me. We're gonna go feed to the yearlings. They've been hyped up. Of course, they love the cold weather, but um, been breaking ice for the horse, chickens, and uh, Jackie um, every day. And uh, twice a day, once in the mornings and once in the afternoon. And uh, so to make sure that they all have water. And uh, you'd be surprised how much water actually animals drink whenever uh, it's cold. You're like, ah, oh, they don't need that much water. Do drink a lot of water when it's cold. Um, so anyways, uh, got that set, but we're gonna get the yearlings uh, some cubes real quick. And I'm gonna run down and check their ponds and see what it's like. Yesterday, the edges were not frozen. Today, just from peeking at it, looks a little bit different. So we're gonna uh, check those ponds and see if they're frozen. We gotta bust them up or not, and uh, we'll go from there. So uh, then we're gonna run to Stillwater Milling, a local feed store. I'm gonna pick up some more uh, horse feed. Um, that uh, something a little bit different I'm gonna add uh, to her mix. And uh, I'll talk to you about what we're actually feeding her. We're basically feeding her what her previous owners were feeding her. I'm kind of going off of what they do. They're horse people, right? I'm not a horse person. I may become one uh, with just one, but kind of going off of what they do. I didn't want to change her diet uh, you know, really fast. You can, if we do want to change your diet, it's a slow, uh, steady process. But, uh, so we're feeding the same thing they are, but I um, need to go get one more thing. And we're going to get some, uh, horse, we're going to get some new horse supplies, uh, for her to start training with her. Uh, I got a lot of studying up to do and I got a lot to learn. So we're going to run to the feed store here in just a little bit and get that. Goose, where's Maverick? Bobby, ah, uh, you're not Bobby. Where's everybody? Where's Hoss? Kids. This is one of the ones we raised. <laughs> There's the rest of them. She's kind of like Eleanor, wanting that special treatment. <laughs> I guess is what she wants. She came up. She followed me over here, away from them, and uh, 
I came over here to check the ponds and see what we were dealing with and she came over here to to see me take my glove off so I can get a better shot of her what are you doing girl well I already poured out the cubes I'm gonna walk down here and take a look at this see what we're dealing with and of course the edges are going to be the worst but not terrible you can tell looky there they've already busted it got it got in there a little bit <sighs> yeah they've already came through here and stomped it and busted it up i love to see that that's pretty cool yeah they've already broke it all up you can see the areas there that are wet but it's frozen I could come and break it for them again with the skid steer if I wanted to, but you know, uh, these animals have survived in these type of conditions for a long time. So not too worried about them kind of making their way over here to me. I may catch them drinking some water, but finally filled up again. This pond actually almost went completely dry, had just a little bit, probably, I don't know, 10 gallons, 15 gallons of water in it in the middle of it over the summer so we've been fortunate to get some moisture uh, this fall and a little bit in the winter not much here but some recently um, there's actually some uh, goose remainders on this pond looks like um, that tells you how long this pond's been frozen quite a bit of goose poop left on the pond That'd be nice some nutrients for the for the water yep some good minerals for the water you know one of the things that we've been talking about here lately is um uh the poop i know it's like oh we've been talking about poop lately yeah we have and if you haven't uh seen it we'll get caught up guys come on now but uh no we have been uh, talking about it recently because you can see a lot of it y you know the little black specks everywhere um that's poop and a lot of my videos and um, you know, we don't have hundreds of acres or thousands of acres for these uh, bison to roam on, which would be awesome and beautiful, right? But you're going to see it more often. Here's the reason why mostly you're going to see it. And I may have mentioned this uh, a little bit before, but, um, you know, here's some right here. You look at this and you're like, well, that's a fresh pile, right? You see that? I mean, it is just, right? It's solid. It's completely solid. And so, really, obviously the cold, right? You're like, Dusty, it's freezing outside. Well, yes, I know. It's, it's cold. But my point is, is it's, just, it's, it's the wintertime. There's no microorganisms. There's no breakdown. There's no science going on inside this poop right now. You know, you got to have the heat. Uh, you got to have the environment, the climate to, uh, for all those bugs and organisms and insects to go inside that poop and start breaking it down. Um, in the winter, you don't have any of that going on. And that's, that's, uh, that's life. There's no, there's nothing going on right now inside this basically, uh, because all of that happens in the summer, all of it's broke down. Um, you know, when the ground starts to warm up and all the critters and organisms, microorganisms and all that stuff that goes on, uh, at the surface and below the surface, it's not happening right now. That's all gone dormant and whatnot. So uh, that's why you see a lot of this. It's not being able to be broken down naturally. This wouldn't happen in the summer. It would all be working and uh, the, the natural process of uh, poop breaking down, just like if it was a, a deer or you know an elk or something, same process of it breaking down would be going on in the summer. So that's why you see so much. And I've had a lot of good uh, comments on, hey, well, you need a harrow. Yes, I do. I, I do need one. And, and especially after I'm getting more and more animals, I do need a, a harrow that I can pull behind with the ATV or my little tractor. Um, I do need something like that to spread this manure out so it can basically fertilize uh, the ground and, and uh, our land so i'm kind of been shopping around for one i appreciate the comments and uh, uh about getting one that uh the idea of getting one so 
I definitely need to get one. I never have had to get one before, but as we grow, that's just something we need to do. So I will be getting one hopefully at some point or maybe borrow one from my neighbor. Heck, I got awesome neighbors and they have everything. So, uh, you know, it's one of those things you may not need it that many times of the year. I don't know, we may get one, we may borrow one. We'll see, but. Uh, All right, guys, we're gonna head to the feed store. Y'all becoming buddies? Hey, Jackie. It's me. Oh, Jackie. Got our Medicaid chick starter for Brooks's chicks. Got some more feed for uh, the Dunbar place for Kevin. Everybody's taken care of. Horsies. Got some more cubes. Oh. We just got back from the feed store. You know, going to the feed store, you just, it's like going to Walmart. You go in there and you're you are like, oh, I just need a couple of things. Well, you know, and you, you get in there and of course you find other things that, uh, that interest you and that you may want. And so one of the other things that was, I had to purchase was spark mantras. I had to go to the horse section and, uh, we got us a 10 foot lead rope here. And uh, yeah, got a little leather on it. And then we got a halter with a lead rope on it. Um, you know, just uh, starting into the horse stuff. And um, we'll see. Uh, so, you know, I've kind of been studying up a little bit, not a whole lot, but I'm gonna study up a little bit on uh, raising horses and um, not necessarily raising horses, but basically on working with them. You know, this uh, this filly is only eight months old. She uh, she's halter broke um, mostly. I had it; it was on her for uh, when they, she came over, but we took it off of her uh, just because I don't want her to get it caught um, on anything, and we're not here, and something could happen to her. So, you know, if I'm over here and whatnot, I can put it on her. And uh, while I'm here, I let her wear it for a while. But uh, the own the previous owners that raised her uh, put her all, put the halter on her, and then trained her to get in a trailer. Which how they brought her over here, um, which is really nice that they've already spent a lot of time with her. But I, um, I need to spend some time with her and start training her and whatnot. So I'm studying up um, on uh, some stuff online, uh, getting ready to start working with her and uh, train her a little bit. And like, I'm, I'm not a horse person. Like I said, I, I don't know a lot about it. I, I rode horses in the past, but um, you know, I kind of bought these halters and stuff. Of, uh, so I'm gonna tr try to start working with her. Um, we'll see how it goes. So anyways, uh, <laughs> lots to learn, but I think uh, her and Charlie have become buddies already. And uh, Jackie has, has been hanging out with her. And so I can keep an eye on her with our camera we have set up um, if I'm not here and whatnot, so. Charlie, do you have a new buddy? Hmm, you got a new buddy? She's, I'm afraid that Charlie is gonna jump on her back someday. Not sure how she'll handle it, but um, well, see. So far she's handling her pretty well. One of the things I want to share with you is uh, Brooks got a great gift over during Christmas. Uh, Brooks got an incubator, and it's uh, it holds twelve eggs, I believe. And um, so, uh, so what we did was we took a dozen eggs from here from the Cross Timbers Bison Ranch, and we and 
uh, Marissa and Brooks hatched out um, nine out of 12 eggs. And um, Brooks was super excited. And when she come home one day, uh, there was like four or five of them in there um, that hatched in one day. And uh, so we got nine total. Uh, three of them didn't make it or were not fertile or whatever reason didn't make it. But And so these are from Brooks's very first set of chicks that became uh, chickens, adult chickens, which are here at the Ponderosa. And um, now she's got a new set of chicks and we've got them here inside our office with obviously a heat lamp. So they're in a nice insulated and warm room along with the heat lamp. So um, Brooks has more chicks now that are growing here at the Ponderosa. So excited. Uh, it's a highlight to her to come over here and take care of her chicks. So it's a couple five black ones. And then we've got the four white ones here. I can tell some of them already gonna be red. It uh, looks like Silky are uh, the, he's got feathers on his feet. Some of them have feathers on their feet as well. So you can tell who their dad is and uh, what kind of color some of them are gonna be. Uh, there may be some young Bettys in there too. Not sure, but we will see. Mine? You got a chick on your head. <laughs> 